Good morning children. I hope you all are doing good. And I know you all are excited to hear the remaining part of the story. Well, in our yesterday's class, we read about Harjeet arriving in Paris and not liking it at all. He thought people stared at him and at his turban. He was surprised too. The tall, beautiful buildings, well-managed traffic, Eiffel Tower, language and his home. Everything was new for him. And he missed his beloved country, India. He missed his grandparents and friends. He also lost his bag at the airport. Today, we will read how Harjeet's life would change when he will enroll in a school in Paris. Good morning. Now let us continue with the story. Don't worry son, you wait and see. Today you will be fine. You must be brave and have confidence and believe in yourself. Now you get dressed and come. Have some breakfast with your mother and I shall ring the airport and we shall soon have your bag too. You will see. When the breakfast was finished, Harjeet was in a much better mood. He kissed his mother and dashed out of the door into the car so that his father could drive him to school. When they finally arrived, Harjeet noticed a swarm of children standing outside the school gates. They were all dressed in smart uniform. They all spoke French and not one of them was wearing a turban. The young boy suddenly felt very nervous again. When his father noticed this change of mood, he held out his hand to his only son and said, Come on, let's go in and take a look around. We have nothing to lose in just looking. And he smiled as he said this, like it was all a big adventure. This made young Harjeet feel much better. As they walked down a long corridor, Harjeet noticed rows of pictures of the big metal building pinned to the walls all around. He thought about the little key ring on the bag and of all the people taking pictures with their cameras the previous evening as they drove home from the airport. This building must be something very important here, Harjeet, Harjeet thought to himself. I wonder what it is called. While they were sitting in a large reception room, waiting for the headmaster to come out and see them, Harjeet noticed a boy sobbing all alone in the corridor. That is the same boy that I saw at the airport yesterday, thought Harjeet, barely able to contain his surprise. That is the boy who was staring at my turban. Harjeet pulled on his father's sleeve. Papa, look, look, that is the boy, the one who was staring at me yesterday. Then why don't you go and say hello? His father suggested. Some people are just curious. They do not mean any harm. Harjeet decided to be brave. So he walked up to the boy and smiled. The boy looked a little embarrassed that he had been caught crying. Hello, my name is Harjeet. I just arrived from India yesterday. Do you speak any English? The boy hesitated for just a moment and then said, I do speak a little English. I am Pear. Why are you so sad, Pear? Harjeet asked. It was then that Pear went on to explain how he had also just arrived from India after his family holiday. I am supposed to give presentation to my class tomorrow so that I can tell everybody about what I saw in India and show them all of the things I collected along the way. But I lost my bag at the airport and now I don't know what to do. I don't believe it, exclaimed Harjeet. You are lucky. I think that I have your bag at home. I took it from the carousel by mistake. You are the boy from the carousel? That is me, said Harjeet, pointing both his thumbs at his chest with a smile. Using their broken English as the best they could, the boys managed to have quite a conversation and after a while, they both cheered up and considerably. Pear was very relieved to have found his missing bag and Harjeet dashed over to his father to tell him everything. That day, Pear made sure 
that Harjit knew all about what to expect from his new school and he introduced him to lots of new friends during lunch break. Harjit asked about imposing metal building he had seen the previous evening and in all of the pictures at the school. That is the Eiffel Tower, Bear said, barely disguising the pride in his voice. It was originally built for a war, world exhibition to celebrate French Revolution. But these days, it is an amazing tourist attraction. And my mama says that it is one of the most romantic settings in the world. People come from all over. At the end of the day, Harjit arrived home to tell his parents of his wonderful experience and all the things he had learned and shared. Papa I didn't think that anyone would be interested in what I have to say or where I come from. But I was wrong and you were right. It is an adventure. That night, as he stretched out on his new bed and listened to the gentle rumble of cars in the street below, Hajit was almost too excited to sleep. Bear had asked him to stand up in class the next day and help explain all about India. He had met so many new friends and he looked forward learning about life in France and speaking a new language. He still missed home, but he had begun to understand how a little courage, a little understanding and open mind could help him grow as a person. This was indeed start of a whole new adventure. So, dear children, Hajit was able to find happiness with confidence and courage. By the end of the story, Hajit was convinced that he was at the right place and hoped to have an adventurous life ahead. This was, this was Hajit's story. I hope you liked it and learned to be brave and courageous in different places, with different people and in different situations. We will soon share the notebook work in your class group. So keep yourself updated. Till then children, goodbye.